Hello and welcome to Message in a Moment. Today I would like to talk to you about opportunities. And I want to give you a quote. I hope that you, if you write things down, this is recorded so you don't have to write it down right now. You can go back and listen to it and then write it down. But listen to this. Small doors can open into large rooms. See, most of us have these, these grandiose ideas of these great big rooms. Lord, put me in a great big room. Put me on a great big stage, and I'll just I'll do all the glorious things for you. But I'm what I'm saying to you today is small opportunities, small doors. They may appear to be small, but they can open into a large room. And I'll give you a biblical example of that. There was a young fellow named David, and he was out taking care of his father's sheep. And God told Samuel, "I want you to go to the house of Jesse." And I want you to anoint a king for me. So Samuel went to the house of Jesse, and Jesse lined up all the, br the brothers, starting at the oldest and the most handsome and the most virile and all the most successful. And Samuel sat there and thought, nah, this looks good. And God would say, nope, not him, not him, not him. And, and so he went through all the sons of Jesse that were there. And all of a sudden, Samuel said, do you have any other sons? He said, oh yeah, yeah, I've got one. He's out there taking care of the sheep, little old David. And Samuel said, we're not going to sit down until the, the, a meal is prepared for the new king. And so when David got there, Samuel in, immediately went through the ceremony of saying, God has chosen you to be king over Israel. He anointed him pouring oil on him to set him apart as king. Now you would think that would have impressed this young boy. You would have thought that this guy would have said, look at the big room God has put me in. But you know what the next thing, next assignment that he had? He went back to taking care of the sheep. What I'm telling you is small doors, faithful doors, taking every opportunity that God puts in your path, those small things that look so insignificant. I'm out here taking care of these sheep from my dad. Well, I'll tell you what. What he did was during that time, he gained an understanding of God so that when the time came to face the giant, he had been faithful over those few things, and he told the giant about it too. He said, I know this God. He didn't waste time in the small things. He was taking care of small things because small doors can open up into large rooms. I pray that your room is very large. Till we meet again, God bless you.